What are we reading today? The Book of the Mother, Your Holiness. Chapter 3, verse 12. Ah. As water rounds the stones, smoothing... smoothing what was jagged, so does a woman's love calm a man's brute nature. A wife salves her husband's wounds. A mother sings her son to sleep. You learn quickly. You know, there are some who know every verse of the sacred text, but don't have a drop of the mother's mercy in their blood. And savages who can't read at all, who understand the father's wisdom. For years, I pretended to love the poor, the afflicted. I had pity for them, but I never loved them. They disgusted me. They are hard to love. The poor disgust us because they are us, shorn of our illusions. They show us what we'd look like without our fine clothes, how we'd smell without perfume. Can I ask you about a personal matter? Of course. The king mentioned that since your reunion, you haven't joined him in the marriage bed. No. You have a duty, Your Grace, to your husband, your king, your country, to the gods themselves. It's just the desires that once drove me no longer do. Congress does not require desire on the woman's part, only patience. The king must have an heir if we are to continue our good work. Forgive me. Sometimes the true path is hard to find. Hard to find and harder still to walk upon. But you've made great progress. I only pray your grandmother follows your lead. My grandmother? Yes. The Queen of Thorns is a remarkable woman, a strong woman, and an unrepentant sinner. You must teach her the new way, as she taught you the old. Or I fear for her safety, body and soul. 